Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how we can draw this piece in AutoCAD 2021. First of all, we will put this drawing in our workspace to be our work much faster and easier. So, before every single drawing, we need to start with the units. So we will press units and then enter. Now it will appear here a window with a bunch of options. We will choose here the decimal precision. I will put it with just two decimals. International millimeters, I will choose in my case centimeters. And decimal degrees, precision zero. Yes, everything is fine. If you are curious why I chose these options, I invite you to watch also the other videos in my playlist. Link in the description and also link right here. So let's get started. I will press OK and we will start with this ellipse. So to write this ellipse, we have a bunch of options. First of all, we can press here at this button, ellipse from center, or we can just type ellipse. So I will press it here. I will select a random point, it doesn't matter. Be sure you have the ortho command active. So now I need to write, first of all, the first dimension. So the first dimension is exactly half of this dimension, 110 divided by two. That means 55 units, enter. And now for the other side, we need to have exactly half of the other dimension. So 70 divided by two, 35 units, press enter. And this is our ellipse. To gain more speed, I suggest to move the origin. So go to the origin, select it, and press here move origin only. And select it exactly in the middle. If you cannot find the center, press these settings, and it will appear another window with a lot of object snap that we need. I select all of them not to have problems. So it's up to you which one you need. Good. After that, we need to create those two circles right here. So the first circle had a diameter of 45 units, in our case centimeters, and the other one a diameter of 30 units. And because we have the region here, we will help with it. So we will write circle now, and then we will help with it, and we will write minus 25, because we have here 25, comma, zero. And here it is, we are able to draw it already without any further lines. So deselect the ortho command and now we will type D from diameter and we will press 45 units, press enter. The second circle, it will be the same. So circle minus 25 comma zero, enter. D from diameter and 30 units, enter. Now, inside of it, we have another rectangular form. We don't know exactly the dimension or what is the distance, but we will assume it and we will measure it. We will use the measure jump command. Now, I will select distance, so I'll press D, enter. And let's say from this point until with this point, we have 15 units. From this point, I will construct a line until let's say here, almost 15. We don't know exactly sure what is the distance because we have no official measurement, but I want just to present you the way how we can do it. Now let's apply the array command, select this object, press enter, and we will select path and we'll select this circle. Now we will go here instead of measurement divide, and we will write here, we have six pieces. So we will write six pieces, enter. And we are almost the same figure. Good, after that, we have here two parallel lines for our ellipse. So we will apply the offset command with 10 units as is written here for our ellipse. So offset 10 units, select the ellipse and put it inside of it. Now, to have also these two circles, we will create again. So, circle command, and for this time we will apply not minus 25, we will apply plus 42. So write 42, comma, zero. Okay, so the first one, it will be with the diameter of 20 units. So press D, enter, 20 units. The second one, it will be from the same center, so circle, 42 comma zero, enter, D from diameter and 10. 
Now we need to make those radiuses. So first of all, we will apply the fillet command with the option radius because we have here a radius of 10 and a radius of 5. So we will start with these two radius of 10. So fillet, air from radius and 10. The same thing, fillet, air and 10. Now select the entire drawing and press trim. Delete this part, this part as well, and this one. Now for the other side, we will apply radiuses of five units. So fillet, air from radius and five. And this thing, if it will disappear, we will apply again the offset command with 10 units because we need our ellipse. And now let's delete the extra part. Select the entire drawing, press trim and start to delete. Yes, exactly like this. And this one you can just delete it. Good. Fillet air from radius and 5 and here it is our drawing now it's complete i hope this video helped you if you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time